it's it's crazy and I don't believe in it and I believe that we need to take our business back and so this these are things that are going to help mm. and love RIR I'm going to teach I'm going to be teaching for RIR but this kind of stuff um, they're not necessarily providing and people take classes at RIR to get their CE credits let's mm. be realistic mm. See, we're more of the type that like to, we do most of our trainings online. Right. So we usually have people jump on and we do a training walk. I'm a very thorough person. I like to explain from the beginning, the very beginning to the very end. Mm -hmm. Some people start you off in the middle and get confused. I know this is overwhelming, a lot to take in, but we're, again, we're used to sitting down with a group of people online and walking them through step by step on how to do something. By the time they get off, they've completed something and they have an actual result. So we are going to offer, we actually have, when we did a Remax training last month, I think it was, uh, we offered everyone a free chatbot. You know, this is about three, four hundred dollar value. It took us a while to build this out, so we offered to everybody to have one for free. All you have to do is is click register after you've scanned this code and then the 27th which is in a couple days we're actually going to be doing an online training of walking you guys through of setting up this automated real estate chat bot for your business page all for nothing yeah so this is not this is what i mean by really coming from contribution this is why i'm I, i'm glad i met with everyone because john and i for the past four years do nothing but provide value first right Without anything, without knowing if anything's going to result in any business, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. As long as you're providing value to the marketplace, it comes back. So, uh, as you said, obviously we have things. We know we provide an advertisement service. We provide a chatbot service. We also have, we're probably a week away or less of finishing our course. It's made for real estate agents on how to generate buyer and sell leads. 30, 20 to 30 leads per month. Um, and so we, we made it so it's focused on just that. You're not going to know every single little button and cranny and, and drop down menu. We don't want to confuse people. It's just the action steps that you need to actually generate uh, those leads. So. And so we'll be, we'll be providing that as well. Um, mm -hmm. For those of you who are in real estate companies, we can come to the real estate companies to yep. do that um, on behalf of, of Big Coast Mortgage Real Sponsor then to, yep. to come in. Um, um, I also uh, encourage all of you, this is how, do you want to talk about that little thing? Oh yeah, thing? Well, while you guys so are eating. This is how, this is how, oh it shouldn't do it on this, this is my other phone. Um, the way, when we met, um, Justin said, here's my card. And I looked at the card and I was like, what's that? And he's like, that's my logo, but it's also called a? Scan code. Scan code. Messenger scan code. So I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Because it piques my interest. And then he's like, you go to Messenger, go ahead. You can tell yep. him what you do. So I know you guys are eating if you, if you want to just, you know, you can't if you want to. Um, if, if you have Messenger, your Messenger app, if you open up Messenger, and I did have this in the presentation, but Facebook just updated a bunch of stuff. They're getting rid of these scan codes, but we're going to be able to use QR codes to connect our automated chatbot to. So this is good when you go networking, you walk up to someone, it's a conversation starter. As soon as they scan this, you get them as a subscriber. So if you open up Messenger, right in the top, you're gonna see your profile picture next, next to the word chat. If you click that profile picture, it's gonna show your personal code. Now this is a business scan code, you can connect an automation to it, but you cannot do it with a personal page. If you click your personal scan code in the middle, it's now gonna open up this where it says scan code or my code. If you click scan code and you hold this here, just like that, that quick, it opens up my messenger. If you click get started, if you guys do this too, because we're gonna be offering a free bot to you, so if you end up going through here, click get started. So you need to have a business page first, before yeah. Saturday. <laughs> Well, we actually did a video on how to create one, okay, just good. put it together so we can provide that to you if you're just trying to get it up and running. Okay. Okay. I can have some that. So once you click Get Started, uh, as you can see, I'm getting notifications already of, you know, Alexander wants to chat with you now. And then it's going to keep telling me everybody that opts in. So 
So that's how you get, that's how you know. But at the end, we're going to be offering you that free uh, real estate chat bot. In order to get that, you just have to open up that messenger and... Um, it's me. Oh, okay. I was like... Just We're testing you. Rhode Island as well. <laughs> <laughs> Who's calling? Do I answer? Uh, I love answering. Like, I'm teaching right now. Do <laughs> we have free resources or? <clears throat> uh, no, sorry. This is this is the flow that I have set up when I go to networking events. If you just type in, because you can pick keywords. If you type in free chats with a Z, with an S, I made it so it's all different. Even if you put it as one word, I used all these different keywords in case someone messed up when they're typing it. It's gonna pop up an automated message saying thanks. Um, you just click the button to register, so that way the 27th, Saturday, we can send out some information to you guys in Messenger so to get your brain. Right and then we can put <laughs> keywords. So basically, like say yeah. for instance, uh, we built out a chat bot for the Chamber of Commerce in New York, and what we did was we made it funny. So I, I told everybody in the audience to type the word Shit. Right, and what happened was it took them, it took them to a anger management course <laughs> for twenty five dollars, <laughs> like four hundred people for this course. I so you can you can put any keyword you want. You can put get started, thank you, a thumbs up, anything you want, and you can get people to do or go anywhere you want. So again, it just provides <laughs> that twenty four seven support for right. you. Um, they think it's you. I thought it was him when I got that. I, <laughs> I really I was like, he's in here texting me right now instead of the networking event. You know. Um, which was which was cool because people think that this is a relationship, right. and so they're like, mm -hmm. "Wow, they they must really like me because <laughs> they're they're responding so quickly." Right. Yeah. When in essence, it's automated. And you're providing that quick. You, they have quick replies on the bottom, so they don't have to go out of their way type out a message. They can just click it. Mm -hmm. They say thank you. A okay. thank you message comes back. Yeah. You know, so you can you can do anything that. You, Anything you want. We even had a spin to win game where people would win a gift card and we had everybody going through trying to win it. So before we get off track here and Evelyn starts tugging out my shirt, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so when I popped this up the first time, did everybody end up doing this the correct way? Like your eyes went here first, then you went here, then you went here, and then here? Most of the time, that's how a Facebook ad works. When, as soon as we're scrolling on Facebook, when an advertisement comes up, the first thing that catches our eye is the picture. We call that the scroll stopper. If you can't get someone to stop scrolling, you lost them. The next thing they see is here, here, and here. And we'll show you exactly on an ad. So this is kind of, when we're running advertisements, this is kind of the whole process and system that we go through. This is why we have success with them. This is why we generate leads because we use the same process through the same thing. We just pop in different businesses and niches when we come to that. We're taking our Facebook traffic. We're creating an advertisement on Facebook, not a boosted post, but actually in your ads manager. We're creating this ad. Once they click download, it will bring them to a landing page. I don't know if anybody knows what a sales funnel is or a landing page. Everybody has a website. People go to your website, nothing happens. Your websites are useless. So this is something you actually create within Facebook. We used to have to use a different program called ClickFunnels or WordPress or something like that and build a page for people to go from Facebook onto that page. Facebook got smart. They do not like people leaving Facebook. If you can keep people on Facebook, you get a better cost per click. Everything is a lot cheaper. Facebook loves you when you're not taking people somewhere else. They want people to continue scrolling, watching cat videos and stuff. Keep <laughs> them on Facebook. So once they get to this here, this is going to be a name, email, phone number. Okay. Once they fill this out to receive the listing that you have or the list of homes that you're offering, or these free reports that we're going to show you that as a real estate agent you can give to people as value to build that rapport and get that referral. As soon as they fill this out and click submit, two things are going to happen. They're going to end up going to that thank you page, but in the back end, no one sees, a notification is going to your phone. Your phone's going to go ching. It's going to make a ching sound, a money sound. As soon as someone fills out this form, you're going to get an instant notification, 15 minute, 60 minute, 24 hours. At the same time, Lead Owl is taking that lead's Sorry. information, no problem, 
and sending it to MailChimp. I don't know if anybody uses MailChimp, Active Campaign, Drip, any of those. It's just an automated email service. Now this can start sending out follow-up emails to try to get them to schedule an appointment. If regardless, everything pushes this way. Your, your text messages, your emails, everything is coming up to get them the schedule call and get a new client out of it. So again, after they've clicked submit, going up here, I took you that way now, uh, you know, to get their free report, list of homes, whatever you're offering, once they click that button, it delivers it to them, and then you're working towards building up that lead. And at any time, if anybody has a question, just interrupt me. Uh, I just want to make sure I can kind of get I have through a, this. I have a really quick question. Mm -hmm. if, if you have a team, for mm -hmm. example, um, I, I don't know if anybody here, ha everybody's doing their own leads on their own, right? Um, so, but example, if you had a team, let's say you're deciding to build a team, or you have an assistant, right. and you want them to get, the leads? To get this. Yeah, you can put them on a rotator. The lead owl has a rotator. Okay. So you can bring in Bob, Sue, Jane, and Lead Owl is now going to disperse those leads evenly to those people. Yeah, that and these are not leads that everyone gets. These are exclusive leads that you get off of Facebook. It's not like when you're working with a company that you're going to scrub all these leads. By the time you get them, 30 people saw those people already. That, yeah. that, that's why we yeah. love what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, we we want to obviously get clients for our business, but we have other niches that we kind of like for that. When it comes to real estate, we want to show real estate agents because you guys pay Fifty to two hundred twenty-five dollars per lead on Zillow, Realtor, MLS, wherever it is, and then most of the time, you guys, it's screwed because it's a lead that has already been contacted. It's not an exclusive lead. Someone else has already contacted. So if you got the lead in with three seconds, you hit call. Two seconds ago, someone else already contacted them. So these are something that's coming directly to you for you. So the first part of this, because there's seven steps, and obviously there's a lot of stuff in with this. Uh, we can't cover it all, but we just kind of pull the basics to the front. So the first step is what we do when we take on someone, and this is why ads work, is because we do customer research. I said that in the beginning when we were talking about social media. We need to find people's wants, needs, fears, pains, pleasures. If you hit a pain point with someone, if you hit a pleasure with something, something that sparks an emotion of happiness or sad, within what you have, you're going to connect with that person. This is simply just a survey that we send out. We've already done stuff for real estate, that's why the PDFs we're gonna show you, this is where we got that information from. So we simply sent out a survey asking people just to give their feedback. That's the best way to sell, when you have the feedback from the audience and you know what they want. Yeah. All right, thanks. No problem. So from us gathering feedback from our audience when it came to real estate niche, these are the things that we have got, um, used to give to people because this is the feedback we got from people. So all these are like slap you in the face kind of catching headlines. Six steps to selling your house for top dollar. You know, seven uh, costly mistakes when selling your home. If I'm scrolling and I'm thinking of buying or selling a home, this is going to catch my attention. You have to be creative online. Not everybody's just going to want to buy the listing that you have, but if you can generate lots of buyer or seller leads, you're always going to have that database to work with. So being creative on how we generate those leads is, is key. So this is more of like a lead magnet. We actually have eight or nine of these reports that we have. We make it so that they're customizable for the realtor, uh, where they want to put their name, business, phone number. So. You deliver this free PDF to somebody as value, they love it, they build a rapport, no matter what at the end, they're always gonna have your information to come back to. So these are kind of the steps that we take too. When we're putting an advertisement out there, we don't always try to go for the lead right away and try to get that sale. We like to build that relationship. So we'll send out a free list of homes to people. There's tons of people download those lists of homes. You don't even understand. Now I can go back in and say, Facebook, I want you to target everybody who downloaded this list of homes. Now send them my top 10 home buying mistakes. Anybody who downloaded this, 90% of the time, they always download the second one and the third one. By this time here, you're pre-framing them. You're getting them to want to buy or sell their home. At the end, our goal is to get them to book an appointment. So. There's many steps to a funnel, whether you're using a website, doesn't matter where you are, everything works in a funnel. 
Lots of people go in the top and only one or two come out the bottom. It's a numbers game. So again, awareness, interest, decision, action, and in between then is gonna be the know, like, trust factor. So everything kind of flows together. I know there's a lot of information to take in today, but it, it does all connect together. Part two in our Facebook advertisement is our audience. People don't realize how much information and data Facebook has on you. It's pretty scary if you knew. Uh, it's gold from a marketing and advertising standpoint. When you're boosting a post, you don't have control over what it is. There's only a couple options. When you go in your ads manager, you can highly, highly target your perfect customer in their location, what they do, what they like, what pages they've seen, probably what they ate for dinner last night. I mean, you can kind of get into it as much as you want. So you can target by zip code, an actual address, or a town, city, state, country, region, whatever it is you can target. You can pick so it's five mile radius. If I want to put an ad right around Bay Coast Bank right now, five mile radius or 50 miles to promote this place, you can do that. If you're doing real estate, you have a listing, and you know an area that's high, more a higher income zip code or something, you can target just that zip code or a, just a certain street of a higher income. So it, it's pretty powerful in what you can do. There's no point in spending money on advertisements with billboards, radio, TV, that's spray and pray. Hopefully someone hears it or sees it and they want my business or service. Here, you're putting it in front of the person who wants it. Detailed targeting by demographics, interests, and behaviors. Again, if I want to target a woman who lives in Rhode Island in a certain town in this zip code, who's married, has two children, you know, does this, likes that, drives this, I mean, you can really get down to who you want to show this to. People don't realize how, that's, that's why you can get good results, because you can target properly. Next step is placements. Facebook allows you to put your advertisement in a lot of places. Messenger, audience network, Instagram. Now, you'd never want to leave them all checked. As you can see, I only have Facebook feeds. That's all where we show our stuff. Sometimes we will split test between Instagram. You know, Instagram does work as well too, but most of the time it's Facebook. Uh, the, the, yeah. Got a question for yeah. you. Um, when we do do uh, ad, we list a property. Sometimes they came out with an idea of discriminations. Yeah. How is it for housing? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Are you, you don't have to worry about that because it's not for housing, right? Mm -hmm. As far as the discrimination, that's why they're actually taking away the age option. You could you, you could go 18 to 65, mm -hmm. but now they're going to be taking that away because they don't want you to discriminate against them. If you, right. I want to show a married couple 35 to 45 to sell this house, you're discriminating everybody and canceling out everybody who's younger than that. So you're not giving them that opportunity. So as long as you're making sure you're not discriminating anybody, you're not calling out a certain person, then you should be fine. Underneath that, when you, were, when you saw that, there should be a button that says certify compliance or manual review. Mm -hmm. If you know that you're not putting anything out there that you shouldn't be, just click certify compliance and then it will launch your advertisement. Yeah. Facebook gives you a lot of different options in terms I want to of ask data. you regarding the re relevance score because I've done a lot of what you know I've done I did Facebook advertising for over two years what do you to target yeah but um, I learned later that if the relevance score isn't uh, you know eight nine ten right <coughs> you could be doing the audience you could be doing that targeting you know the, the radius and everything but doesn't the uh, relevance score it, it, it's it's I honestly don't pay, obviously you want to have a good relevancy, it, relevancy score is going to mark you from 1 to 10 and it judges how relevant your advertisement is with people, you know, is it, is it resonating with people. You have a lot of people in engaging with the advertisement, you're going to get a high relevancy score. I don't always go by that because I've had a, a form where I had over 29 leads and the relevancy score was low. Yeah. I've had some where it was a 9 or a 10 and it was doing very poorly. And I think that the fact that you put a survey out to find out what interests people, right. 
then you put the ads. Yeah. The ads then you'll know that yeah. they're. Th yeah. Then you'll know it's relevant or not. Yeah. If you just put the ads, yeah. then you're not doing the proper research big, big, to make yeah. sure you're hitting the people exactly. who are interested in what you have to sell. Big brands do it all the time. I heard uh, Nike did it one time where they put out five new shoes in the store. They had people coming out and pick the shoe. Oh, I want that one. Sorry, sir, this isn't in stock right now, but we're going to put it on order for you. They never even had the shoes in stock. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to see what shoe was going to be the most popular, and then they're going to make that brand. Mm -hmm. Find what your audience wants and give it to them. Mm -hmm. We tend to say, they're definitely going to want this. Yeah. And then no one wants it. Like most businesses, like what we've learned in marketing is that you don't, like you see all these experts and gurus all over the place, right? But what they do is they ask the audience first before they build any product or service. Because you don't want to build something that, that you think that people want. You want to build something that people actually want. So when we build stuff, when we build courses, we run a survey. And if we get poor feedback, we don't build the course. If people say, yes, I want that, yes, I want that, then we go and build it. We built this course because most right. real estate agents don't want to pay someone. Yeah. They want to know how to do it. You yeah, know? And so. most local businesses do that. They open up a clothing store. So I had a guy that opened up a clothing store in my neighborhood. But he never asked the town if they wanted it. So he went out of business in one month. Because he doesn't understand marketing. Yeah. So a uh, third part to the advertisement is going to be, you know, do we want to have a bunch of pictures? If you have a listing, is there a bunch of pictures you want to put in there? Just a single image or a video. Again, video is king. You want to use video? A lot of people don't want to, which is fine. Um, you can use your own library photos. Or, you, people don't know, you can actually use stock photos from Facebook. It'll bring you to, what is it? Um, it, it kind of, I think it's uh, on Splash or something. Yeah, yeah. no, no, not Splash. Um, but you can't use stock photos. Uh, we recommend you use organic photos, a real photo. People, when it's stock, sometimes it just feels like another, you know, fig ad or another ad. When you have something that's real, like a picture of you or a picture of an actual house, like this was an actual picture of a house that from one of the clients, it looked like it was professionally done, but it wasn't. It was just the setting. Everything looked good. To me, that's a scroll stopper. That's going to get someone to stop scrolling. So within our text, here I'm calling out the location. I, I like to call, hey, homeowners, hey, Milford, Mass, hey, Massachusetts. When you call out the location, a person's going to connect with that right away. It's going to get them to stop scrolling. And as I said, you're going to see this first for an advertisement. Your eyes go from here to here, back up to here. So if you don't stop them with the scroll, catch their attention with this headline, and then within the first couple lines of copy at the top of that, if you don't get their attention, you've lost them and they're going to continue scrolling. So grab your free report. What free report? Now it's going to lead them up here to start reading. New free report reveals 12 questions you should ask before hiring an agent. I would want to know that if I was going to buy your house. I want to know what I need to ask them so I come prepared. So a lot of people love this one here as well. And we can choose any kind of call to action. We use download because again, they're getting a free report from us. And here, you know, that would make me want to act. I don't want to make these same mistakes that other people do. So we're going to break down the, the ad. So like I said, you want to call out the location. Um, this is going to be the attention grabbing headline to where they're going to stop. On the other side here is where you're going to have a quick story or an act now offer. The scroll stopper, again, is the picture. That's going to get them to stop scrolling. You can get pictures off of Unsplashed, Pixabay. Um, those are all copyright free so you don't get in trouble for sharing them and a lot of them are like 4k quality so it's very good pictures again they're stock if you don't have any organic original pictures to use I would go there and a clear call to action nowadays we have to tell people what to physically do like if you don't tell them what to do and what you want them to do for an action they won't so this is why we always have a call to action down the bottom I even put a finger emoji telling them <laughs> where to push right there for the download <laughs> We've tested this, Not e same ad, yeah. no finger emoji, same ad, finger emoji. This one did better. Yep. Just from that little thing, the words we use, emojis we use, those things matter. We don't realize how much of an impact it has when you're split testing stuff to see. And we've done so much split testing, we know it works when it comes to uh, real estate here. So. Uh, landing page. This is within Facebook. This isn't something you have to leave Facebook to build like we used to have to do. Now you can do this natively in inside. 
So our landing page, where people are gonna go after clicking the ad, is gonna be congruent to there, from here to there. It's not gonna be different. Once you start changing pictures and the copy and everything, people get confused and feel like they're misled and then they don't continue through. So keep everything the same, even though it's almost the same exact thing from the ad. Our main goal here is to collect their email, name, and phone number. And we're gonna do that by offering them free report. A lot of times on Facebook, uh, online marketing, you get a lot of fake emails, fake names, phone numbers sometimes when we're getting things. Cool thing about Facebook's lead form, it populates their email, name, and phone number. Whatever they sign up for Facebook with and made an account, that's what's gonna automatically populate here. So it gives people less of a chance to put in fake information. <clears throat> Once they click Submit, you're gonna get a ching on your phone. That's how you know that you got a new lead in. They're gonna to go to the thank you page where they can come and download their free report. This is where they can download a report, a listing that you have to offer, a, a list of listings, whatever it is that you have for value, you have to have that value exchange. People do not give name, email, phone number if you're not exchanging something of value to them. It's just not gonna happen. So again, that's why we, we always lead with value. <clears throat> a lot of times on here, and it doesn't always work for real estate, we'll offer something on the second page. On the thank you page, we'll offer them something to entice them to click now, call now, book an appointment, whatever it is. So again, after they click submit, this is where the notifications comes in. This app is called Lead Owl. I do not know why this guy has a broken arm. <laughs> um, <laughs> as soon as a lead comes in and they fill out the form, you get a lead. This is an actual screenshot, by the way. I took like a, a phone PD, um, PNG. Uh, this is a screenshot from a client that we had. And as you can see, lead, 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 lead. They just kept coming in and coming in. Um, we actually had to turn this ad off because she got overwhelmed, which is good. But again, it alerts you immediately within 15 minutes, 60 minutes, and then 24 hours. If you've gotten to that lead, it will not let you know again. So there's no 15 minute here because this person, I love working with people who are gonna do what they say. We will not work, we're very picky, just like her. We won't work with everybody. Can you get to your leads within 15 minutes? Do you have a process of following up and closing leads. There's a lot of qualifying questions that we even ask before we work with people to make sure because right. if they can't get to the leads in 15 minutes, this is all useless. <coughs> people have a short attention span nowadays, really short. They yeah. fill stuff out on Facebook. If you wait two hours, they forget they even did that. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. So 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. Always, always want to do that. So these are just some screenshots. If you guys follow these steps, and again, obviously there's a lot more into it that you guys haven't seen, but when you follow those steps correctly, these are leads that you can generate. This is, these, some of these aren't even a full month's worth either. So again, we know you guys pay anywhere from 50 to $200 plus per lead. You don't know if it's exclusive. You don't know if they even a good qualified lead. $5 per lead, $1.68. 346 five even if I was paying almost ten dollars a lead that's still better than all the other options mm -hmm. that are out there mm -hmm. and again all of these 23 30 qualified no we're never just gonna have something that's always qualified it's going through the numbers the more numbers you can go through I rather go through a hundred people to find the two than have only five or ten people to go through your chances are gonna be a lot better Question for you on the other yep. slide. Um, where we talk, can you go back one second? So we're talking about the results 23 uh, reach 3,700 mm -hmm. or total of 42. So means like uh, 23 people so hit and um, fill out the form and that's what we call the cost per lead? Or so or? reach and impression, I don't pay attention to those too much. That could be you, you you scrolling so fast you don't even see what ad or anything. It's going to count as that. As even if someone didn't even get to your ad and just piece of it showed up on their screen, it counts as that. Okay. I only <coughs> pay attention to how many leads I generated and how much it cost me. Yep. I do pay attention a little bit to relevancy score um, when we're using a website. How many people clicked and then how many people became a lead? 
You want to know those numbers. You can't really go by impressions or reach. You know what I mean? Um, again, and if you're not using that app called Lead Owl, the only way you can actually get your lead is by clicking the blue. This is an actual clickable link within your ads manager. If you click this, it gives you an option to download the lead. You can download it as a CSV yeah. file mm -hmm. or exactly. another one, but you have to have Excel. I don't have Excel on my computer. Um, he does. Right. A lot of some people do, some people don't. Right? I do. But you have to, if you want to know if you have leads in, you have to keep going to Facebook, pain, yeah. going into the ads manager, yeah. keeping track of how many you that. had so you know if you got another one, yeah. download another Excel spreadsheet. It's like, so that's why we use this app. This app is made for, you know, delivering leads. Can, can you connect to a CRM? With, if you, you can. With lead Owl yes. does, yeah. they do have a lot of connections with. Oh, okay. um, business pages, websites, um, CRMs, uh, automated, even like we have MailChimp connected right. to that. So okay. once a lead goes from Facebook to Lead Owl, it sends us a notification and then sends that to a, a, a list. Uh oh, a so, so it goes list. from Facebook. Excuse me, it goes from Facebook to Lead Owl to like I have Lion and Death CRM. It, it can do that automatically. <coughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Lion Death. They they consistently keep adding new integrations. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have heard of LionDesk. I know someone who, who works with LionDesk. They also work with um, Wise Agent. Yeah. Have you guys ever heard of Wise Agent? Yeah. That, that's a really good system right there. I actually have a lot of people who started using that. Um, Wise Agent? Wise Agent, you, yeah. Do you need Zapier though? You don't see. So the thing is, like, <coughs> we used to have that in there, but it's a lot confusing for people to go through the whole right. integration with Zapier. We oh, do right. have videos on how to integrate that stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can just natively, within Facebook lead forms, integrate Lead Owl with that. Yeah, yeah. For those of you who um, know, Zapier is basically, it's an application. You get two apps to talk to each other, to communicate. Yeah. So you can get a lead and then put the lead into a spreadsheet. So Zapier does that for you. And you can so say, all right, send it to a spreadsheet, send it to right. here, do this with it, do that. You can make this right. thing do all, all the stuff that you want. It's but just I very, very confusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's cool that you know about Zapier. At the, at, at, at the end of the day, um, your job is to get more business, right. help your clients. Right. That's your job as a real estate agent. Mm -hmm. Because we own our own business, we have become real estate agent, um, bookkeeper, phone, t you know, telemarketer. We've become marketing. We've become everything. Mm -hmm. right. But there are s resources that can help you get through that, mm. um, and and so that's kind of why I, I have them come in. They they understand all that background stuff. They get it, and they can answer all your questions. And and there's a business card there. Um, Sounds and so, good. I'm definitely interested. Yeah, so so they can get into that with you. Plus, they have other things to offer. I've done this for two years with myself. I'm too nervous. Right. I, mean, it's, it's, I don't have the time. I'm Thank looking you. to hire someone that has knowledge that right. you know what Thank I mean it's hard to find a good quality vendor too right. oh thank you yeah I know it is yeah well, it really is okay, so far I like everything I heard yeah, yeah definitely so okay. we'll, we'll finish this up real quick about. guys the last part is obviously we're either sending out emails or yeah. we're sending out messages of messenger and again we obviously know that messenger messages and messenger are taking off a lot more as you can see when we're making our emails we don't just pitch 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 a little bit of intro, a little story, <coughs> tell a story about maybe uh, a client that you had, something happened with the home, and then they, they ended up, you know, succeeding in getting the home. Whatever it is to kind of build that, um, you know, that's why we have this here. Facts tell, stories tell. That is so true, it's unbelievable. John and I, when we first started way back, we'd be so, like, techno babble about this and that button, know what this does, people don't understand that. We started telling more stories, people understand a lot better, they resonate with it. Right. Fortunes in the follow-up, guys. It really is when it comes to... Um, and if any of you have been to any of my classes, the two things I say is database, follow-up. Database, follow-up. Right. So this is... Not this everybody's going to convert right away. Right. Some, some, uh, with online marketing and digital advertising, people need to obviously know, like, or trust you. But even after that, they sometimes need to see your product, brand, or service five to seven times before they act. It's, it's just a proven fact. Right. So again, seven steps, customer uh, research, audience targeting, <coughs> Facebook creating the ad, building the landing page, then the thank you page, text notifications, email follow-up or messenger follow-up. So here are some uh, 
you know, apps and software we think are going to be helpful for you guys. Again, we're going to provide this link so you can go through this presentation anytime you want. Calendly, you can hook it up to your Google account. So anytime someone schedules an appointment through Calendly, it alerts you in your uh, Google Calendar. So it automatically updates that for you. Canva is where you can, with no tech, you know, uh, creative abilities, you can put some stuff together for cover photos, different things like that in Canva. It's very simple, drop, drop and uh, click. Pixabay is where you can get the free photos. Lead Owl is going to be that app that generates, uh, delivers the leads, excuse me. Many Chat is the automated chat. If everybody ended up clicking that and registering for it, we're gonna be giving you that free chat bot. BuzzSumo is where you can kind of get some content for ideas. So as we said, we kind of told you before, uh, you're gonna down, you guys can download your automated messenger chat bot today. This, uh, I think it's valued more than that. It took us about a week to create. Um, if you open up a conversation with authority advertising in messenger and you typed free chats, or if you don't have that, I would just go to bit.ly um, forward slash free chats and that's gonna prompt that message for you. Um, and again, we're gonna have that live workshop this Saturday. Uh, that's what I like, even if I could host something sometime <coughs> where we come in and everybody has the computers and we show you how to, from something you don't know, to complete with some results, we'd love to do that. So we'll be walking you guys through those steps. That's pretty much it. Any questions? Any, that's what I was just going to ask. Any questions? Um, as you guys run in this business, I don't know, like said, how many people you got in your backup <coughs> to help the other? So we, we do, we have virtual assistants, but we do the bulk of the stuff um, because we have a system that we follow. So we never deviate from our system. We created our system that could basically take any real estate agent, use our ad copy and get them results. So the system that we use can be used for any agent. Obviously different regions are gonna have different results, but from all the research that we've done, we know that our system can get results guaranteed. So around how many um, realtor um, clients do you have? So it depends. So right now we have a few realtor clients, but we do work and take on other businesses as well. Total, a total yeah. of three. Uh, we have a broker and a lender that we work with actually in Rhode Island. I don't know if you know Nations Lending. Uh, we work with Don and Andy. Huh? You can promote them here. No, I'm not promoting Don't them. Don't use but. Nations Lending. <laughs> <laughs> There's just some of that we work with. Make you know? sure that's on video. Yeah, uh, but we've worked, we worked and worked with solar companies, restaurants, yeah. bars, pubs, yeah. whatever you can think of. Any Every business in the world yeah. is one thing that they need. Yeah. Leads. Yeah, we even work with the Chamber of Commerce that's in New York. We're, we're part of the committee, so we're doing their whole branding, and uh, we're building out a value ladder for them because the Chamber of Commerce in New York is actually lacking in a lot of areas, especially in marketing. Mm. Uh, there's not a lot of value. When someone joins the Chamber of Commerce, there's nothing else that they get attached to that. So we're actually building that for them in New York. We just yeah. went to an event they had. We had to go up on stage in front of 400 people uh, like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. And so. uh, deliver some value, but. Yeah. So basically you get a virtual assistant to work anywhere in the world. So yeah, exactly. support. Mm -hmm. The, can hold your clients. And this is as as this, and, Wi -Fi, this, this and this is all I really need, and I can work from anywhere I want. So they have they're like realtors, mm -hmm. except they don't sell real estate. Right. They sell marketing product for businesses in general. Right. Are you and, guys creating that? And yeah. so um, what happens is is they they know technology. They know this stuff so well. Mm -hmm. it, our personalities are more like lovey huggy. We like to talk to people and stuff. Their personalities are more like, how do I create a system? How do I do this? And so they've developed a system that I'm they are. So lovey. can you leave that in there? Because that's ours, no, not yours. Is mine. Oh, that's yours. Yours is over there. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so they can. They've developed a system where realtors should be developing, mm -hmm. but we just speak a different language. Right. And because we speak a different language, we need to leverage people like them that really know how to do it right, besides all the people that are trying to contact us and sell us something. You know? Are you guys cre actually doing the ads for us? Oh, we, do, we do it all. Are you in my... Uh, ads manager then and yeah so we get access to yeah, it. Yeah, oh, access to oh, yeah. okay so, I so it's it's more like a done for you that, that, this that's is that's why we offer like yeah. a while back we were just strictly um you know offering it as a service and then we getting feedback from the audience we realized there are a lot of people who want to do it themselves and i'm that type of person i like to do it myself but there's certain points i need to know when i need to outsource stuff 
because it's taking up my day, my time. Right. So I, I try to tell people, listen, generating your own leads and doing all this stuff, obviously so nothing's easy. It's time consuming. So I always recommend if you run a business, you let someone else that yeah, knows that right. do that business for you. But again, I'm the type of person that will kind of do both. I'll, I'll learn it. Like the chat bot stuff, that was a lot to learn. Yeah. You could have hired someone. I wanted to learn it myself, so I have That's that value. Right. It's here now, it's with me. You can't right. take that, right. you know? But when so you're in the much. real estate, see, when you're that's in that, interest. that's part of developing uh -huh. your service. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. So that's part of developing your service. So it's good for you to learn. Mm -hmm. And But in real estate, unless we want to become marketing people, we'll need to learn that. And, and, and right. to me, that's silly. Right. right. Yeah. It, it, that's it's silly. It's time consuming to go up on a million tangents. That's it. And that's it. That's all I've done. You so I'm leverage. looking to outsource. us. I'm looking house. to hire guys like yeah. you to get in my ads manager to create the ads. Yeah. So what kind of, how much? So so why, don't, why don't we talk pricing? Why don't you talk pricing independently with them? Yeah. Right. I just cool. don't want oh, okay. to be a sales pitch. No, like, no, 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 and, and I said that at the yeah. beginning. This is the thing too. Like, if topic. you want to talk to them and you want to use them and, and <coughs> are, remember, they're offering the, what is it called? Something bot? The chat bot. The chat chat bot. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about that. That's going to be Saturday. So, yep. And, and, and then time? their Saturday so session. What time is? Oh, I took it up. Yeah. Saturday, too. What I'm going to do is... I'm, I'm going to give what? them all of your, your... If you have your business cards, take it out. And we can give this to them. Um, but I'm going to forward this with, the, with your email to them, if that's okay with you yeah, all, so that they know. Yeah, yeah. And the they easiest thing, too, is if everybody ends oh, up... Yeah. If, you, if you go into the just chat right now, and type in free chat, that. That way I can just send a broadcast message to everybody. We did that. Do you want cards as well? Or does it matter? Do you want cards as well? Oh, I'll take a card. Yeah. I'll get a record. We're all connected here. And then you can independently decide. By the way, I left everyone some gifts. Um, this is this is these are it's summertime, so these are luggage tags, um, gift via Bay Coast Bank, and for Bay Coast Mortgage is the webcam covers. So if you're afraid, because we know they can tell what we're all doing all the time, if you uh, want to cover your camera on either your cell phone or on your computer, that's what these are for. Mm -hmm. And you can uncover it and take pictures or whatever, and cover it, and nobody can eventually tap into your camera.